News at 6 continues. Among the health issues Texas lawmakers will consider this session are additional ways to crack down on opioid misuse. For example, Texas is one of only eight states where parents don't have access to their child's data from the prescription monitoring program. KMAX Duffy Lee has a look at some potential changes to that program. Some people feel like they're alone through this. But here at University High School, student Michael Perez has a community. This school inspires hope in students in recovery. Anything really that I could do, I would do it. He saw a doctor's prescription send his brother down the same path. Not only did it make his pain go away, it made everything in his feelings go away. Experts say youth are exposed to pain medication in a number of ways. If an adolescent is injured, for example, uh, and is given a certain amount of uh, pain medication, uh, prescriptions, they may develop that opioid addiction. Bringing in parents immediately and having them be a part of um, the process when a young person is prescribed medication um, decreases the chances for that. Texas legislators will consider adding that parental notification mandate to the prescription drug monitoring program this session. We think that was just an oversight in the original bill. Physician and Senator Don Buckingham also expects new legislation to focus on improving the workflow. Right now, a provider has to stop everything, log on to the program, check everything. What we're really trying to do is get what's called push notifications to come up. She says collaboration between different health experts and those impacted by opioid will be key. You're never alone, and that's something that people really have to keep in mind. In Austin, Steffi Lee, KMAC News.